Okay, 15 minute 10. So we've been working on being ready to take the free gifts. Also, we're looking at trying to build resilience when we're down, well, maybe if we're down a pawn or we're down a, uh, a piece of material. So building resilience towards disadvantages as well. It, it does help to keep you focused and it can surprise the opponent as well if you can fight fight back well rather than capitulate and say well i'm down a piece i'm down a pawn i'm not, I'm not going to win so it, it, just keep pushing forward as best possible so th those are the two key <coughs> key things <coughs> excuse me from my recent evaluation got to, for me as you've seen throughout the years of um me doing these um types of videos um, there's constantly always something to work on within chess you know it's uh, it's not it's not something that you can go well yeah that's it I've got the f full complete answer um, my answer is going to be totally different to your answer in chess you know um, it's got to be an individual thing at the end of the day so yes we have I've got my own mantra my own concepts that oh let me see is this a funky thing been here before. Um, takes queen takes. My king's a little bit bare. Oh, he just moves his knight. That was the annoying thing, wasn't it? Boom. He moves the knight. Bishop takes the bishop. Queen takes. And then my pawn is kind of stuck there. I'm gonna go for it. I think there was some sort of weird advantage. I have a position there before us and ooh, interesting interesting I didn't think they were going to take so we'll grab does it get even more interesting than this castle let's see and let's <coughs> excuse me ignore that one and come here but then he brings his other pawn down. We go here. His knight wants to attack our queen. Comes back around. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's go here. I'm going here for the potential for this, but I think this is potentially happening. So I'm going to have to go back. Then his knight's going to come and attack us here or there, whichever way. So I want to attack the queen. So general picture I'm getting from this position. <laughs> none of what I said. <laughs> uh, none of what I said. Let's bring the go here. That's why when, when I say you do your calculations, I've mentioned it previous videos. You can do loads and loads of calculations, spend hours, you know, hours on it, and the opponent doesn't do what you want to do, so you've wasted all that time. So the maximum, like I go for, is for a four-move calculation uh, to be realistic, and then you have to remember that calculation when you make your move, and don't make something up during making that move. So they're going a bit frantic here. We take takes his rook's got an x-ray through to our queen so we have to be mindful of that so i could develop my knight in the meantime and if the bishop takes queen takes i'm going to develop the knight in the meantime because it'll be stuck on the back and then we can maybe challenge their queen if there's something happening So it's only like a two-step calculation, but you have to be careful with your two-step calculations because sometimes it might have warranted a four-step calculation at least. Okay, so he's still wanting this x-ray through, so I'm feeling fairly okay with that. Let's just tack the queen. He's obviously expecting that, so his queen's... If he goes there, though, we get the queen for free. 
just to remember. I'm still thinking knight coming here, not not there, but um, attacking the queen at some point. So I don't really want to keep it there forever and a day, maybe bring it back a little bit, but then it's still got the knight attacking the queen. So it's a bit of a nice position, that knight there. Why is he swinging, going for the b-pawn? Goes for the b-pawn, we take takes not going is protecting the bishop so in fact the queen's going to sit there so then if we go here is there anything better queen coming here rook comes no, that it's been a bit hard because i can't take the knight anyway can i Let's take and move the queen out of the way. Let's go. Shall we attack the pawn? Or shall we come here? No, the knight is the knight. Let's x ray through to the king. Put an attack on here. Rook supporting. Obviously, a smaller piece attacking a higher piece. The knight's in the game, okay, so we take, he takes, because this pawn's isolated, we don't have to take, we can just move the knight out of the way if we want. What's his real plan? Take, I think he's bringing this in here. Oh, I could go central. I think I like the idea of him having an isolated pawn there. I think if we bring the rook here, attack. So I'm going to attack the pawn. Didn't see them apples, did I? So attack the rook. Two pieces defending, got the queen and the knight. Although I think something funky is going to happen. I think the knight's going to take here. It's going to be on our rook as well. Oh, I think we kind of messed up again with the knight. The knight situation. Oh, the resilience is not going to work in this one. Oh, he takes. Oh, and we don't even get the knight back. So we're going to be material down. Oh, shabby. After all that panic, hopefully the magical pawn has done it, <laughs> and they're thinking the queen has to take. Trying to build that resilience, now we've got two pieces on this pawn. One piece. 
Queen's gonna have to go to the other side of the board, but he needs to well maybe he's coming here, but he can't go there because the rook. So he really wants that king to move so he can come here to protect the pawn because we're looking to double up here and then he can bring his rook and support the pawn or he brings his king here which is probably going to happen um, not the way that I thought but I suppose in a way it's okay isn't it because if we go here he can just push the pawn down because our rook can't then come back down So if I push my queen up, then his rook is going to come and face our rook. So he's going to still have this center pawn. Hmm. Look at the tricks, eh? Looking to double up here on this pawn. Let's continue with this, or maybe the rook's coming here to defend. Okay. Swing the queen across. Obviously, it drops because the queen is protecting. Yeah, don't want to waste that. Right square for the king, his queen's looking to get round somewhere. Let's... Exchange and ma. Is it right to go for the queen now? I mean, am I plus? I'm not plus one. Nobody's plus anything. Other. I'm not getting back ranked. Takes. 
on tigs. Tuck the pawn. Maybe the rook goes if the rook goes over there then at least we've got them babysitting. If it drops then we can come back down again attack here. Then he comes here, then he's still babysitting. So I think it's probably better to is there anything else before I do any of that? Escape the queen attacking the pawn here. So I'm protecting my pawn at the same time attacking. Could do oops, could do that. Take takes. Or he could just bring his rook to defend. Or he could just bring his queen back. Lots of if buts and maybes. I feel like I'm supposed to be trying something new and not exchanging the queens, but I don't think I'm going to be in that bad a position, am I? I'm going to take. Because leaving the big gun on the board isn't usually, for me anyway, it's not usually the best thing. I'm going to attack the pawn like we said. He may come down for the king, but like I said, I don't think there's any back ranky thing because we're close to the rook here. He could go around the back, I suppose. So it'll just be a take fest. So I'm going to drop like we said. So then maybe he's babysitting. No, is it come down attacking? Oh, missed tempo. Okay, one. So yeah, it's going to be just a take fest. Let's take, take, take. But we end up with a pawn on the edge. Or not. Ah, <laughs> dear. Let's push.
three big missed opportunities I just had then. All I had to do was take his rook off the board earlier on and then my pawn was just going flying up. Three times I missed it. Damn. Oh, I could have just taken his pawn off the board either way, just got the exchange off. So annoying. <laughs> 